Hello everyone, I am Silhajan Irik and together with me uh, is my colleague, Nuzal Zila Osman and also my team member. So um, as well as has been introduced before, we are English language teachers from Kuningau Vocation College based in Sabah in Malaysia. And I'm, I think some of you have been to Malaysia. Um, well, you look at our slides and you will see pictures of our students and this is what they have done this year. You know, we are doing performing arts or performance in, and, and they were doing it in, in, and they were doing folklore that is based in, in our, in our state, Sabah. So we'll be presenting a part of our project. It's known as Dao Dao, but for this presentation, we'll focus on theater, the elements of theater and folklore. And this project has been selected as the winner of the 2021 Simon Vinnell Award, which, which was sponsored by Macmillan Education, uh, International House World Organization and International House London. And we were mentored by uh, two lovely, uh, a lovely couple, uh, Charles and Jill Hatfield, and, and they are here today, I think, with us. So, so let's get it started. Okay, so, you know, theater, when we talk about theater, there are lots of elements of theater, but we'll be focusing on three, uh, three types of performance are perf performances that we think contain the elements of theater. The first one is leaders theater, not just theater, but leaders theater and puppetry or puppet show and the third one's animated towels. So we have some videos. I hope they're going to be playing. Okay, okay. First of all, our focus is folklore, which is in our island state, Sabah, Malaysia. Now, Malaysia is a multiracial uh, country and we're really proud of it. And our island state is, it's a part of Borneo, and a huge island. Uh, it's a home to dozens of indigenous tribes and, and other races in, 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 in the state. And, um, you know, all of the indigenous tribes, they speak their own indigenous languages. And we feel that, you know, they are, they are speaking their own indigenous languages, they are speaking the Malay language, which is our national language, and they are also speaking to English, or they are also learning English language, which is our second language. But for some, for some of them, they see it as, as, as a foreign language. So we feel like, you know, doing this kind of uh, project, it will help them to bridge their ethnic identities with, with the English language, uh, which they tend to perceive as, as foreign language. So that will bring them together. So leaders theater, I think you know what leaders theater is. It's performing, you know, you have a script, you, you get the students to perform the script, but without props and costumes, they need to focus on, you know, they will, they will have to, do some acting and they will, to do, they will have to deliver it with some emotions, but you know, there's no club and costume. And usually the best leaders theater is the one, is the, uh, is the one where the script has a lot of dialogues. So there were two ways of doing it, uh, which, is, which is the one that we are very familiar with, face-to-face -face, uh, you know, way of doing it, uh, like what you have seen in, 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 this, uh, in this slide. Uh, on the right side, and then you can do it also as in a, in a, on a virtual platform. So I'm going to play the video and I hope it will play uh, just okay. Let me help you with the barrel, for I have no barrel. You have such a big heart. I clearly could use some help. He offered to help plant the seeds, and he went to fetch water. So the lady could water the seed. He was surprised because this uh, Were you guys able to hear the audio of the video? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's that's you know face to face leaders yet, and the other one we did it on uh, on Zoom. Let me help you carry the firewood. Keep you this night away, you ever agree. The old woman then dropped the firewood and ran off. The unique being picked the firewood and followed the women to her village to return it to. So yeah, that's that's a that's a, a virtual video theater. That's how we call it. So you know, we, we our students did it this year, and in two thousand twenty one, uh, our schools were closed for for the, for the second time uh, for, for almost four four to five months. So most of the students they were at home, and we were doing online learning. And we you know we thought that this project would be a good uh, you know was a great activity for them. So leaders theater, I've told you before what it is. It, it definitely helps to improve students' 
fluency and it helps them to build their reading confidence because they have to read skip out loud. And of course, there are certain parts that we have to look at when we want to assign our students and we did a theater uh, assignment. And you know, other than uh, the second one that we, we we managed to get our students to do was puppet show. Uh, there were many there are many types of puppet show, uh, and our students did string puppet and stick puppet. So we're going to look at both of the videos that our students have done. Oh, ho, got you! Cried So Young as he scared a deer away by jumping on it when it was grazing in a meadow. Oops, didn't mean that. With us the beauty you must desire The one you will forever The voice was soft and gentle that was nearly irresistible. Moon felt the strong urge to pedal his boat towards the voice. I should ignore it. Come and see the priceless and precious treasure. So much you cannot measure. Come and help me. She really needs my help. I can afford to leave someone in trouble. You will free me from this. Where are you? I'm coming to help you. Are you here to help me? So yeah, um, so our students did this, uh, and these were just these were not the entire video. So I just took snippets of the video. So it's amazing how the students were able to do this when they were at home. You know, during our uh, when the schools were closed and it was it was the, a national lockdown in Malaysia. So puppet show. The thing about puppet show, students they were creating visual representation of of the text of of the script or of the story, where they were. It, they were not just able to clarify the understanding of the text, they were able to demonstrate them by creating this visual representation. And the thing about puppets is that the students, they were learning English language, they were using English language, and they were speaking English language to puppets. Now, most of our students, uh, especially in Malaysia, they feel very conscious when they speak English, and they're they are too scared when people look at their faces, uh, facial expression, and so on, when they are making mistakes. But with puppets, you know, it helps to bridge them, uh, you know, because they're speaking to the puppets. So it helps to like make them feel less conscious and at the same time helps to scaffold their learning. Uh, and that one that we're going to look at is animated tales. So let's play the video. The Dragon of Mount Kinabalu, written and narrated by Fredo Fusawi, illustrated by Roswell Rosalyn. Centuries ago in China, an emperor ordered his three sons to steal a gem from a dragon in Mount Kinabalu located on Borneo. Whoever succeed in bringing the gem to me will be the new emperor of this kingdom, said the emperor. The older son, Kun Wang, was the first to travel to the island with hundreds of strong warriors. Upon his arrival, the dragon attacked them. They had to hide in a jungle. I am not afraid of your warrior, roared the dragon. So our student who did this was a Chinese Malaysian. And if you notice, what's interesting about this story was that it's it's a Chinese story, but it's not it's not from China. It's based in Borneo, it's based in Sabah. And this kind of story, uh, because our focus is to get our students to embrace their you know, cultural backgrounds. And we are not just focusing on the ethnic, uh, the indigenous tribes, but in the people of, of any backgrounds, it, it's a good way to acknowledge diversity, regardless of where uh, you know, our students come from. Uh, the thing about animated tiles is that when students do animated tiles, they are actually, you know, they are, they are basically drawing, like right? they're doing illustrations, and that will actually help them to, you know, to, to really understand the tracks and you know try to convey it through their, to their drawings and they're also able to personalize you know the, the text itself and obviously it helps to spark imagination and it helps them to learn vocabulary and it helps them to actually remember lo longer of what they of, of what they actually read so uh for the next one to, uh my colleague my team member uh Nula Zila is going to continue the presentation so Nula Zila you okay. are okay yeah Hello everyone, my name is Nora Zila, you just can call me Zila. Okay, so I'm gonna continue the presentation. 
um, the this the, essence, the essential part of this activity is for students to actually modify a text to a theatrical script. So using several strategies that we will explain later, uh, as you can see in the, oh hi, as you can see in the slide, slide that now, uh, summarizing and paraphrasing, creating dialogue and monologue, describing the characters, narrowing the setting, as well as splitting the text into um, several scenes. The initial uh, text uh, on the left are meant to be longer, um, and we feel that it is better for, for us to make it shorter so uh, it can suit the theatrical performance. Here is an example of how a longer paragraph, which is on the right, is turned into a shorter one. So as you can see in the gray box, that is the longer version. Plus we also, uh, is, if, if you realize, if you manage to read the paragraph there, um, we also changed the gender, okay? As you go through, he felt a strong gust of wind blowing, followed by the loud sound of someone sneezing. Gosh, what was that? Cried Potok as he woke up. He was upset that his sweet dream had turned into a nightmare. That was my brother, Sally, sneezing. He mustn't be able to sleep because it's cold. He may need my olos to keep him warm, whispered Potok. He went to his brother's room and asked him to wear the olos. His brother stopped sneezing when he wore the olos, so Potok decided to go back to bed. I still have the blanket and the pillow, he murmured. This is the original text. And uh, in summarizing it, uh, we actually altered the name and the gender of the character because um, the uh, actor was a female student. So we changed the name. Uh, due to the gender, and we also uh, removed the native words. For example, just now on the left, uh, olos, because olos is actually uh, means blanket. So uh, we just removed the native words in the text and use fully English. So uh, now uh, it is stated here that to make the uh, performance uh, more interactive, uh, we also switch reported speech to direct speech. Why? Because it is in order to create more dialogue. So in this slide show, uh, we turn a paragraph describing a conversation between the characters, Anang and her friends, into a series of dialogue and exchange uh, between them. Okay. And then slide, please. So more dialogue in the performance. Okay. Uh, there's Timbalun and Galap. These are actually the animated ta uh, tales um, that we did and we managed to include more dialogue uh, in order to make them appear more interesting. Um, we also include captions on them, so it is all easier for the audience to follow and also to understand. Now for the next, um, for the next uh, slide, uh, it is uh, creating monologue. Um, so apart from dialogue, we also create a creating monologues for a specific character, especially the main character, also helps to deliver the story more effectively. In this virtual readers theater, why it is virtual? Because uh, at its moment, uh, at that moment, sorry, uh, most of our students are at home because of the MCO, the uh, movement control order. So this virtual readers theater shows how a scarecrow, okay, a scarecrow. Uh, in Bajau dialect or in Bajau language is also known as Bele Bele. Okay, so uh, wonder about her own life. She asked uh, herself, where did she come? Where does she belong? Will people like her and so on? So uh, she is creating a monologue. And for the next one, um, there are also um, many parts of a text that are in descriptive form, like what you can see from the slide. Uh, here, but we turn this description into directed speeches. Then we create characters that will say these lines. Uh, it will actually make the performance more alive and more fun. Uh, on the left, as you can see, the spirit of the rice had many names and one of them was Normani. The Bajau believed that the spirit was a female being who came down from the sky to look after the paddy. If she was treated well, she would nurture the crop to produce abundant harvest. People often praise her in their songs and chants, so she would always be pleased. Nevertheless, if Nurmani become ups became upset and felt neglected, 
she might abandon the pedis, and this could co cause terrible incident to befall the place such as fail crop. So change it to direct speech. My grandmother told me that her name was Nurmani. She came from she came down from the sky to look after the paddy. If she was treated well, she will would she, there would be an abundant harvest. However, if Nurmani become became upset, terrible things would happen. So remember to keep her happy all the time. So we are changing it is changed from description to direct speech. Okay. So let's move on to the bringing out the characters. Um, we don't show actually in, in our project, we don't really show all the characters in the uh, original text when it comes to character. We usually just show the main characters while some characters are taken out from the performance or we um, will only be voice but no visual representation on the stage. So um, the we, we get students to discuss few things. For example, like they discuss the character, uh, the characters in the, in the story, in the text, uh, they describe them, they imagine how they look like, all right? So that is how they bring out the characters. And um, the next, in the next slide, uh, we are going to show you, this is actually, this uh, is actually Unga and Brema Endang. Uh, it's actually a puppet show. Um, there were actually five characters if you read the story. Uh, for information, uh, Mr. Sirajun actually uh, write uh, folk tales and also poems. Um, so you can just, you know, uh, visit our Facebook page later on, sorry. Um, so based, uh, instead of five characters, we only uh, show two characters, which will be shown in the performance because uh, these two characters, Unga and also Grandma Endang, in the puppet show, they actually played the most important part. That's why we don't include all five, we just include only two, which play the most important ones. Okay, now we move on to settings. Um, I believe in almost every story, um, it will take place in various scenes which are with different uh, background settings. In order to adjust our resources and time, we just choose one background scene that can fit with all the scenes in a particular story. So we get the students to discuss and decide the setting, not us. Okay? So we let the students um, discuss and think and choose. Um, next, we will see um, this is the one that uh, our the one that Mr. Serhajon already showed us now, cut out the sea witch. This uh, puppet show, it actually um, took place on three different settings, land, sea, and island. So instead of having three settings, we just choose one, which is a uh, seashore, because it's break, uh, because it fits, it will fit all the three scenes, okay? And we also have another story uh, called Sumanga. Okay, the Sumanga. So, uh, there are six scenes here. In animated tales, uh, we believe that it's important for us to split the text into several main scenes. Why? Because it is to determine the number of illustration that uh, we are going to, that you will do for the animation. So what we did, we just do one illustration for one scene. For instance, in the story about uh, Sumanga, a magical guardian, we split into six scenes. Uh, scene number one of Fishing Village, scene number two, we just choose the storm and flood. Uh, scene number three, a man searching for Sumanga. Se uh, scene number four, a man performing a magical ritual. Scene number five, a man sailing a beautiful wooden boat. And last one, scene number six, clear sky in the fishing village with a fisherman building and decorating their own boat. Next, will you will see um, where students actually illustrated each scene Okay, that, that we have divided into six uh, scene, scene, different scenes just now, uh, illustrated each scene with a specific drawing, and then combine those scenes later to form an animated tale. So that's how uh, we did with the student. So for the next one, um, I'm gonna pass over again to my colleague, Mrs. Rajwans. Hello, yeah. So for the puppet show, uh, these were our students, they were doing the 
at the puppet stage, they were doing the puppets, and they were also editing the videos for the puppet show, for the performance video. Since they were doing it at home, they, they perform it, they recorded it, and they, they sent us the video, the, the finished video of their performance. And uh, with the latest theater, what we like most about it is that our students, they were very creative and they come up with these ideas. You know, could we put makeup just for us to, to portray the character better? So you can see from these pictures, you know, the, the girl, she was playing a scarecrow character. So she's putting all this makeup just to make her look like a scarecrow. And then you know, they were putting makeup like if, if they get, if they, uh, you know, one of the girls, she, she was a fish. So she put up all these, you know, uh, makeup and then the other girl she was an old lady so she tried to make herself look old and then we were doing it we were rehearsing and then we we're also recording it on virtual platform uh, using malaysia we use uh, google meet or, or telegram and sometimes zoom but most of the time it's google meet uh, and we had this we also have special need learners at our school so we you know get we managed to get one of our special need learners you know to to do these tasks animated tell so we just get that special needs learner you know the text in english and then he read it and then he he created this storyboard as you can see here he split them into five uh, scenes and then he created the storyboard which showed that he actually understood the text very well and then he did the sketch for each of the you know scenes and finally he did the drawing um, and we were so impressed with the results. We thought it's it's wonderful, it's amazing. Not only that it showed that, you know, he's a special needs learner. His proficiency in English was very good and his drawing skills uh, was, was uh, were also very good. So it showed that, you know, special needs learners, they are definitely special, they are definitely gifted. And one of the activities that we somehow discovered that we can do with the students is that, you know, you can give them a story or a character and then get them to interpret it in your own ways. So you can see here, this was uh, two drawings made by two different students of, of one magical character. It's called Kokok uh, in, in Sabah. Um, a, a magical creature, a sharp shifting trickster. And you could see how you know their, their drawing styles, they, they were very different and they just saw the characters in, in different ways. But of course, you know, uh, none of them was wrong. You know, they, they, they had the right to interpret it in their own way. So I thought they were very interesting activity in the classroom. So this was us discussing on, on adapting the scripts uh, for the puppet show. So you could see the two students, they were girls and the characters were males. So we decided to change the gender. Uh, we Sorry, Sir John, five, minutes. five minutes, okay. Okay, five <laughs> minutes. Okay, five minutes. So we'll try to finish it. So, you know, when it comes to pronunciation, we always make make use of the of messaging app in Malaysia. We we usually use Telegram a lot, so the students will record their pronunciation and they'll send us their audio recording. I will listen to it and and then we'll you know if we need to correct it, so then we'll correct it. And sometimes we'll tell them you know when when, when they have to speak when they have to record themselves speaking and acting, they they need more emotion and intonation. Uh, so we did a monologue reading in the classroom on virtual platform. Now, why is it virtual platform? Like what we have uh, been saying before, uh, this year alone, we our schools were closed for, for, for months. So, you know, we did online learning or remote learning. So most of the time, we just met our students on virtual platform. So this was, uh, so I'm going to play the video. Uh, I, I hope it's, uh, just tell me, uh, Nurazila, if, if the audio is not, you know, cannot be heard. All right, sir. Okay, shall we go under? Okay, you can do it, right? Yeah. Okay, let me start there, sir. Okay, yeah. How are you all? How's life? How's everything? Splendid? Incredible? So, so? Not so much. Hmm. Is everything okay? Coughing. I don't think so. Sneezing? Excuse me. Ew. Oh no. That's not good. The effects of environmental problems. And that's why we present to you as the planet falls. The the guardian of the planets to help you save nature to help you build the future to help you search for cure to help the world to be pure so let's break the eye and listen to our advice 
Let's start with me, Bella B. Yes, I'm the one who takes garbage from your bins. We, the planet poles, are nothing like you have ever seen. But here we are, and we say what we mean. Thank you. That's all, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's marvelous. I love Very nice. Thank you. I love you guys. Definitely, you have the energy. You understand what you need for. It's nice. You, you acted very well. So that, that was us. We were rehearsing on Google Meet. Uh, and I thought she did very well. Now, if you notice, uh, she did very well, but she made a few mistakes. In the script, it says, coughing and sneezing. She wasn't, she wasn't supposed to say the word, she was supposed to, supposed to just cough and sneeze, but because it was just a rehearsal and she wasn't really aware of it, and then she said it, you know, coughing, and then she coughed, sneezed, and then she sneezed. Uh, and I'm sorry for the quality of the video, you know, it was, we were doing it live on Google Meet and the internet wasn't that stable. But yeah, this was one of, one of the samples of the monologue exercise that we did in our class. Uh, we also did a dialogue reading. It helped the students to interact with each other and also help them to be alert of the reading process and also to take turns when they were, you know, for them to, to say their lines. So I thought it's a good exercise. So this is a brief sample of is what they did. Is it new? Oh yeah. My mother gave it to me last week. Do you want to wear it? Hanang took her necklace off and tried to pass it to the other girl when a bird snatched the necklace and flew away. So that's a, you know, a dialogue leading uh, rehearsal in, on, on Google Meet. So you know, our goal is to revive arts and also to get our students to learn English and also to appreciate their cultural identities and to understand and respect also you know other cultures and I think that's very important because we we teach a class of, of you know diverse backgrounds and we're not just talking about ethnic backgrounds but diversity in many ways. Uh, our students they did all of these performance videos so what we usually do in Malaysia we put them on social media we share them and they've been getting attention from the community which is a good thing and whenever we see some you know competitions or art festivals or literary festivals virtual most of them are virtual, so we'll submit these videos to these to these uh, festivals, and they're being shown. Uh, and we also put our students on local news, just some you know local portal news, uh, and and they've been, basically it's a form of recognition for their work. Um, so that's all from us. Uh, thank you so much. Happy holiday and and Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>